Hello, today I'm going to do a demonstration of my dome automation project. Um, this has uh, been a fun project so far, um, but what you're looking at are the electronics that will um, automatically uh, control the turning of the dome in my observatory um, in conjunction with uh, where the telescope is pointed at. So it'll be hooked into an ASCOM driver software um, and take uh, control from that from the PC. Let me, let me show you the pieces. So this is the main I.O. board here. Um, over here on the left, you have the inputs. And right here on the right, you have all the outputs. So an example of the input is the azimuth control. That tells you uh, how fast and how long the dome is spinning. You have a home position switch, which is just a contact, which will tell you that the dome is in the home position. Um, on the output side, Really, the main output is uh, uh, an indication to turn the dome clockwise or counterclockwise. Uh, that's really all I have right now. Let me show you the box for that board so that you, um, if you're interested, that's the uh, kit for that board. Had to put that together. That was kind of fun. That was my first uh, circuit board um, soldering project. Uh, what you see in the middle is just a little bit of wiring that takes uh, place between the I.O. board and the relays. Uh, there's some diodes in there. I'm going to make it a pretty board so that there's not a lot of wires hanging around, so it should look pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> then you have the relays. So these relays right here is the ELK 924. Let me show you what that looks like. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but what it does is it'll either... It's always... Um, set up to provide power to the motor either in a clockwise position or reverse the current so that it goes in a counterclockwise. This relay is what supplies the power. When a trigger signal is sent to here, um, then the, the power supply will be fed. I don't have it right now, but the power supply will be fed to here and, and the motor will start turning either clockwise or counterclockwise. What you're missing out here, and it'll be in my next prototype, is I don't actually have the motor hooked up and I don't have power coming from here to this switch, but you'll still be able to see this thing working. Um, here's the USB cable from the I.O. board to the PC, so everything's controlled from the PC. Right here is the azimuth indicator switch, so when this spins, um, it'll provide input to the I.O. board and it'll determine that the dome is spinning. Lastly, I have this lame little switch which I will eventually replace, uh, but that's all I could find this weekend. And it's off, on, off, which means clockwise, nothing, counterclockwise. This is used if you want to control the dome manually before you get your computer all set up. Okay, so let me do a demo. Uh, oh. There's the 12 volt power supply. So right now the relays are powered by this 12 volt battery. Um, I don't know what I'll have in the final, but uh, it could be a battery. Over on the PC, you know, I have an ASCOM uh, telescope simulator running, and I've got the POTH, which is a, um, a dome simulator, uh, telescope and dome simulator. And this is the UI for the um, LesDome USB, I mean, I'm sorry, LesDome Net, which is the ASCOM driver, which actually is the smarts and the intelligence to control this board. So let me show you a little bit here. <clears throat> so I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do here for the demonstration, what buttons I'm going to click. But you won't be able to see me clicking them. I'll show you uh, the effect over here to the left. But what you're going to see is, I hope you can see that. Let me see if I can focus it. There we go. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit clockwise. And what you should see is by hitting clockwise, it'll tell it to spin 10 degrees clockwise. Uh, it's currently, the azimuth indicator says it's at 30, so it's going to spin until it gets to 40. So then I'm going to hit stop and hit counterclockwise. So let me, let me show you what happens when I hit clockwise. Let me pull it over here. So when I hit clockwise, now what you notice is this turns on, which means this switch, you heard it click. Let me do it. 
we hit do it again. Okay, so you can hear it clicking. When that switch relay fires, it'll provide power to here. And right now, since this light is off, that means it's spinning clockwise. When I do that and say counterclockwise, again, clicking counterclockwise uh, button supplies power and also switches the switches so the current flows in the other direction. Now when I hit stop, it turns off. So let me show you what the I.O. board does when I hit clockwise. You see I.O. 1 turns on, and if I hit counterclockwise, 1 and 2 comes on. And so <clears throat> that's really just the convention that the author of the software uh, decided to do for this. Uh, let me show you something else. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say clockwise, and then I'm going to spin this button and show you what happens. Let me see if I can do this with one hand. Okay, so I'm going to tell it to go clockwise, and you see, I'll do it now. Okay, so you see that it's saying slowing, but the azimuth is not moving. Um, that's because nothing's really turning, but it doesn't know any difference. But if I off screen here, grab the azimuth sensor and spin it with my hand, watch the 30 at the top there. Notice it's starting to move, it keeps going. Now, it stopped at 38, which uh, that's two degrees. Uh, I have it set up to stop anywhere within a two degrees tolerance. So I told it to go from 30 and go clockwise 10 degrees, which would be 40, but it stopped at 38 because I said two degrees is good enough. So let me do this again. So it's, and this time I want to say counterclockwise. Again, you see that it's saying slewing. Let me see if I can spin this with one hand backwards. And when it gets somewhere near 30, boom, it turns back off. And that's pretty awesome. Um, all right, well, that's prototype number two. I should have a few more, and then I'll do the demonstration for real. Thank you.